a trip to Malta isn't complete unless you come to the breathtakingly beautiful capital city of Valletta. And today we're going to show you why you need to drag yourself from a swim in the pristine waters and come and at least spend a day here. I'm here at the main Valletta bus terminal now, as you can see just behind me, and it connects all the services from all around the island into the city centre itself. And chances are that if you are visiting Valletta, this will be where you'll be getting off. And the great thing is it's at the very start of the city's entrance and main gate. We have now joined the sea of people who are walking down the main street, which is Republic Street. And off this main street, you'll find all the hidden gems of the letter. And here we are at St. John's Co Cathedral. We're not going in it today, but I highly recommend it. For me, it's one of the most beautiful churches I've ever been in. And there is a very beautiful Caravaggio inside.
If you're looking for an immersive way to learn more about Malta's history, then this is where you should definitely come. It was fantastic. I'm now standing at the very tip of Valletta and behind me is the Grand Harbour where all the ships and boats pull in and as you can see there are amazing fortifications that still stand that show how Malta defended itself many many years ago. And right behind us here is Sliema and Tinya Point. I agree. It is the most beautiful spot. But unfortunately it's closed. If you're like us and you enjoy a long walk, you can walk all the way from Valletta into Sliema along the waterfront. Or you can catch a ferry. Valletta is a must see for anyone who comes to Malta and we have so enjoyed our time here reminiscing and sharing with you what we love about this city. So until next time, keep exploring. Bye.